Well, I think realistically, one's got to think about, uh, you know, diversifying internationally. So I think that that's one point. Uh, and I think that, you know, at the end of the day, the question to ask is where is it going to be less likely uh, for governments to actually steal that money? Now, you'd probably say uh, the US looks fairly safe, which is why the dollar is always regarded as a safe haven. Um, the second thing to say is that maybe you can hold things like gold, where it's very difficult um, to actually for any way, if you hold physical gold, clearly you've got it, right? Uh, and the other one, which is, again, I, I hesitate to use this as an investment advice, but, you know, look at cryptocurrencies. Why are cryptocurrencies so popular? It's because they're outside of uh, government jurisdiction. So that's another, uh, so, certainly so far. So that's another thing to start thinking about. But you've got, you've got to, one's got to think more and more about um, keeping money out of the grasp of governments.